And then I think we also need to think about whether our findings are useful to people around the world. Um, we do research that is maybe useful in the United States and Europe, but it may not be useful. I mean, there might be different needs in different communities around the world. So we want to think about all these things. Um, as somebody who studies moral development, uh, I think that there are moral reasons why we need to consider these issues. When you think about uh, access, the access issue, that everyone around the world should be able to access research, especially, but probably all research, but especially research that's already been funded by governments and uh, grants. Um, that is an equity issue. That's an issue of justice. And that's a really important issue because of the justice issue. Um, when you think about those other issues about whether samples are representative, that's also a moral issue because it impacts the welfare of people, whether our uh, measurements are valid and whether the findings are useful to people around the world. Those, those are issues of making sure that we don't harm other people. So that's also, in my mind, a moral issue. So that might be a little controversial, but I see um, the moral values being really key to science. And I wanted to talk a little bit about moral development, and I have a little video for you, um, to think about what are the parts of our science that are really core, that are really uh, essential to doing science, and to doing it in a moral way, and what are the things that we can really change because they're not uh, so key. So authorities and tradition can be wrong, but figuring out what is the way we've always done things versus what is the way we should do things, what are what's sort of core to our science, um, that can be a little bit difficult. 